Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say thanks so much for following my channel. And you know, when I first started out on YouTube, I was like, I totally just want to be different, you know? Like, I'm not like other girls. I'm not like really anybody else that I can think of anyway. Because I'm just, I'm just so weird and, and so different. Different. <laughs> That's whack! Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Ardenny and this is my show where I talk about things and do stuff. And today the things and stuff revolve around women. Coincidentally, I do have a vagina. But I want to be objective here. You see, all women seem to have this fantasy in their head like, Oh, I'm one in a million. And why shouldn't they? We hear it all the time. All my friends are guys. Like, I cannot have female friends. I don't like to wear makeup, and I think the girls that do wear makeup are, like, so fake. And, like, I just don't know how you can live like that. I don't feel bad because I'm different. I feel bad because you're all the same. And zap, bam, there we go. We start to see this development of women who, who believe that they are in this slice-of-life drama, this manic pixie dream girl mindset that they are in a league of their own. At least we're out of the whole I'm so random scene, but in reality we haven't even left the dungeon. See there's this conjurer who has us under this illusion, this spell, that we have left the scene bubbly idiot girl phase, but in truth we are still being licked by the tongue of the beast known as individualism. Honestly, other girls are like too much drama. That's why I never talk to them. Like, none of my friends are girls. Like, guys are just so much easier to talk to. There's none of that petty stuff, you know? I just, I just can't talk to girls. I can't even talk to girls, okay? <gasps> please, please, stop. You don't know. <coughs> You don't know what you're doing. I mean, girls are just so dumb and annoying and it's like you're either a bimbo or a burnout. No, please, no more! <sighs> I just, I can tell you you're to done. You, no! But I've always considered Stop. you to be more of a dude, you uh. know? Women aren't the only ones who are afflicted by the need to feel different. I mean, our entire society thrives off of not being Joe and Betty Smith, and we've even seen the term basic be coined in recent years. People act like they've never watched The Incredibles. When I'm old and I've had my fun, I'll sell my inventions so that everyone can be weird. Everyone can be weirdos. And when everyone fucking weird, <laughs> no one will be. Now the thing is, everybody wants to be weird nowadays, but I suppose they mean that connotatively because the denotation of weird would be more of a spiritual or uncanny or unsettlingly bizarre sort of thing. Weird makes people feel uncomfortable, it makes people feel off balance. Weird evokes something from people. You know what doesn't make me think, wow, what a weird individual? Lifestyle vlogs. Unless your lifestyle is reminiscent of Pamper Chew, you're not weird. Let's use quirky. That's a much healthier, light-hearted alternative to weird. Think about it this way. For the longest time, weird was an insult. Kids on the playground called you weird when they didn't want to play with you. People called you weird when your hair was covered in grease and you chewed on your nails in class. Weird has always been an insult, but quirky isn't. Nitpicking aside, we go so far to let everyone know, hey everyone, I'm different, that we actually end up putting people down. I'm a girl, but I don't like other girls. Girls. I'm gay, but I'm not one of those flamboyant gays. I'm a gamer, and I only play JRPGs because American games are for noobs. It's always something different, but why are we so divisive? No matter how different you are, you're never a pariah. Someone will already have felt your feelings, told your jokes, thought your thoughts. There are no true original people out there anymore. And 
frankly, we should take comfort in that. And if you really feel like the only crayon in the pencil box, perhaps you need to think outside of the box. <laughs> So maybe you're the only person that plays video games. Well, that's fine. But that doesn't define you in your entirety, I hope. You also probably like food. I like food. You know who else probably likes food? Cheryl, down the hall. Sure, she may not have ever played a video game, but bond with Cheryl. Go take her to dinner. Talk about food. And you know what? Maybe you'll be such a positive influence on Cheryl that for the first time in her life, she'll pick up a controller because of you. Cheryl could come to love video games, and it would be because you inspired her and didn't put her down for being, like, not your type. To wrap things up, I'm sure if people were more open-minded and understanding, they'd be much happier and the world would be a better place, and maybe we'd all be holding hands, skipping, and singing kumbaya. Yo, but fuck that! I'm so weird. She wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she cheer cast and I have the t-shirts. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs>